This is how I made this Harry Potter conjuration effect. The first thing I did was film myself tilting the goblet to one side and letting it go. This is so it wobbled a bit on the table after it appeared. After that, I filmed myself acting like I was casting the spell with a wand and picked up the goblet. Then I recorded a clean plate without the goblet in frame. Inside of After Effects, I created a few masks on the layers so that it looks like the goblet appears as I cast the spell. Then I made a freeze frame of the goblet right at the beginning of the clip where it wobbles on the table. I made that freeze frame 5 frames long and made a mask around only the goblet. Then I added the twirl effect to the freeze frame of that goblet. I brought the twirl center to the middle of the goblet and keyframed the angle to start at around 240 degrees at the beginning of the freeze frame and brought it down to zero at the end. And I increased the twirl radius to 31. I also added the radial blur effect to the goblet layer and keyframed the amount to start at 57 and brought it to zero at the end. Next, I made sure to add the shadow of the goblet back in with a mask and faded in the opacity as the goblet was appearing. Then I used some opacity keyframes to blend the freeze frame layer into the one where I actually pick up the goblet so that it's a seamless transition. Then I added in some sound effects and had my final effect. 